Hi, Afishek. Great job writing these first essays for your IELTS preparation. Well done. Let's get right into your correction. Um, some people think that schools have to be more entertaining. Others think their sole purpose is to educate. Okay. Um, there are some people who advocate for more extracurricular activities in school, while there are others who believe that the primary aim of an organization is to educate. I believe that education should be the main concern of any school in order to be fair with the parents and prepare competent students. Okay. Lovely. Um, I am a little concerned with this extracurricular activities. I don't know how you're going to develop it, but, um, extracurricular activities is, um, if, could be getting a little off topic. Okay. Um, so it's just a matter of using the right vocabulary so far. Um, just because they say entertaining, it doesn't mean after school only. So just be careful. But like I said, we'll see how you develop it in your paragraphs. <coughs> Firstly, school should deliver proper education to every student in order to provide justice to their parents. Well, justice isn't the right word here, Avishek. Um, uh, I don't know really what the right word is. Um, but it, 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 justice, I mean, no, not not here at least, not in this context. This is because parents have devoted a hefty amount of money for their... Mm, okay. This is because parents have devoted a hefty amount of money for the academic advancement of their children. Okay, so now you still have to be very careful because you have to remember that a lot of schools are public and so theoretically parents don't pay a hefty amount, okay? So don't get, don't get too specific and uh, talk only about you know, the parents of, of private school children. Okay. If the school would not impart standard education, then much of their financial resources would go in vain. Okay. So not if the school, not if the school would not, but if the school does not, or if the school did not, it would be better here. For instance, recent studies by School Association of Nepal have shown that parents spend about 60% of their salary on the school fees of their infants. You don't mean infants here, because infants don't go to school. Um, I think you mean just of their children. Therefore, to provide justice to the guardians and their contributed money, um, schools should prioritize education. Rather is missing here. Okay, fine. Secondly, education should be more focused uh, by the schools so that their students would be more competent and gain profound knowledge. You don't need a uh, in front of knowledge because it's uncountable. This is due to the fact that students are found to lose their concentration from their studies if more entertainment is included during study hours. As a result, they would become incompetent. To illustrate, a study conduct a survey rather, sorry, a survey conducted by various schools of Kathmandu Valley show shows that students who studied in that school um, no S, which focus primarily on education, are found to be more prolific. More prolific what? More prolific writers, more prolific um, I mean, what do you, what do you mean? Uh, th th basically, I'm trying to tell you that this is not the right word you want here. Okay. It is therefore clear that to produce more intellectual, um, and also not candidates, because what are the candidates for? So, um, you know, you haven't really used the word student anywhere, so don't be afraid to, to use it again. It's, it's fine. It's actually the most appropriate word here, in my opinion. Uh, st schools should make education their only concern, not as. Um, okay. So to conclude from the examples and arguments given, I believe that the only aim of a school is to educate their students. In future, we will definitely see, um, more, you don't need number here, okay, uh, more educational institutions which because it's not a person, give more priority to impart scholarly knowledge to children. Okay, um, there are a lot of really nice elements to your essay. The uh, structure is really quite nice. Um, my concern is with um, some of the vocabulary you're using. So it's um, you're using the wrong word in the wrong place a couple of times. Now, that's not necessarily bad when you're preparing for IELTS because it's important to take risks at this stage. Um, as long as you're learning from those risks that you're taking. Um, so it's, it's good to kind of experiment with new language, with new words. But, um, I do hope that, um, when I suggest you that, well, this is the wrong word. That's the wrong word that you research a little bit about why and what would be the more appropriate word. Okay. 
um, also here you got a little too specific you were talking just about um, students and who, who pay for their education um, in many parts of the world um, education is is free it's public education is free so I felt like this was a little too specific um, okay and again I mentioned that extracurricular activities definitely was the wrong word here okay so let's go to the second one um, enjoyable activities better than reading let's see entertainment oriented activity with children is found to be more effective in boosting various skills this essay will analyze the issue giving and give examples of various research well you can't say researches it's uncountable so you have to say study okay various studies and demonstrate points and prove arguments okay so too many ands so this essay will analyze the issue uh, give a um, you could have done here this essay will analyze this issue giving examples of various studies and demonstrating mm, again it's just so much and <laughs> um, let's see if we can somehow if you can revise the sentence to remove like one two three there's three of them so let's see if you can remove them somehow and, and restructure the, the sentence okay Firstly, a fun activity is considered to be the key factor to accentuate brain activity. This is due to the fact that the mind gets refreshed and infants are found to grab more knowledge and information. You don't need to be talking about infants here. I mean, when we think of infants, we mean from zero, from day one they're born, to like a year. So I don't think we're necessarily limiting this discussion just to infants. Okay, moving on. This will in turn enable the child to become more productive in the subject. He is studying and you just said child you didn't say children so for example a recent study by child psychology in Nepal showed that a child is able to devise more fruitful elements like pottery origami and so on when an interesting activity is done uh, with him again or him or her you could have said here as well therefore enjoyable activity and enjoyable activity helps children to become more prolific here you're using the word again I don't believe you're using it in the right way so please uh, please revise um, and also this was incorrect fruitful elements I mean I don't think that's what you're trying to say I think you're trying to say um, I don't know uh, creative um, you don't really devise fruitful elements either they're able to create um, you know more handicrafts are able to be more productive something like that okay secondly various skills are found to develop when parents perform any work with their children this is largely because those activities involve visual experiences which enable young kids please don't use the word kids in an essay it's too informal uh, to learn vigorously and more effectively rather than learning in a monotonous manner a child visualizes everything around them again you keep using a child and then them please try to avoid this uh, and learns a skill that are acquired by other people. For example, the New York Times published a report that various cognitive skills and decision-making ability, okay, increases into, well, they don't, it, it's increased because it's two different skills. Various cognitive skills and decision-making ability increase because it's two separate things in a child when they play football. Hence, it is clear that several expertises develop within themselves after performing a fun work. Okay. Let's change some of this vocabulary as well. It is clear that several um, skills develop um, or several competences develop uh, and you don't need within themselves after performing a fun task, not work. So to conclude with cited evidence, evidence singular and examples, I firmly believe that um, not exciting work, just exciting um, activities. Uh, would be more effective for children to become productive and develop skills. In future, we will definitely see parents as well as teachers doing fun exercises with an S with children in order to boost their skills. Okay, so um, I'm really happy with these essays um, because the grammar is mostly quite accurate. The structure is definitely um, is, is well is well controlled. Um, so that's all great. Again, the thing for me is the vocabulary mostly. And it's fine um, as long as you're learning f which words um, are appropriate and which words are not. I think you're trying to use a lot of uh, 
you're trying to use a variety of words, but um, as you get closer and closer to IELTS today, it's important to uh, make sure that the, the vocabulary is accurate. So sometimes it's better to err on the side of, of caution and just be more simple. Sometimes really simple is better. So well done. Uh, now you need to correct these essays. You need to um, add the errors to an error correction list so that you can learn from them. And then, of course, send these back to us with your next essays. Okay, so I will let you get to your task of writing new essays, um, and good luck with your writing.